Now to the deadly school shooting in Parkland, and with less than a month until the start of a new school year, there's a pilot program in place that's designed to better protect the students at Stoneman Douglas High School when those classes resume. CBS 4's Joe Murray has more on it. Behind the scenes at Stoneman Douglas, dramatic changes in store for students returning August 15th. The principal tweeting, clear backpacks are out, metal detectors are in, fire alarm tones are being altered. I like that a lot, the metal detectors. Stoneman Douglas student Gabriella Figueroa heard the gunfire and hid in a closet on that traumatic day. 17 students and staff were killed. She lost friends. No one's going to bring anything because you have the metal detectors. So I like that a lot. I feel more safer. All schools in Broward, not just Stoneman Douglas, will see enhanced safety measures in the fall. All students and staff will need ID badges. The district is limiting entry points at all schools. And there will be more code red drills. We asked parent Cesar Figueroa what else he'd like to see. Someone video and, and someone check in. And, and I think interviewing all the kids or some sort, it's, it's, it's a good measure. The school, the FBI, the BSO, everyone failed in the system. So now we have to learn from it. The Parkland Massacre lessons not lost on Miami-Dade schools. Students returning in three weeks will see more armed and unarmed officers, fewer entry points at their schools to limit intruders, and ID badges will become a permanent part of the uniform. When it comes to school safety in South Florida, this is an ever-evolving process, and it won't end with this school year. Districts will continue to learn from the past while planning for the future. In Parkland, Joan Murray, CBS4 News.